Let's talk about restless leg and periodic limb movement disorder. Restless leg syndrome, or RLS, is an unpleasant sensation. Some descriptions include creepy crawly, ants on my leg, dull deep ache or pain. Sometimes it's even just, quote, indescribable, end quote. The sensation is associated with an urge to move, and it feels worse when you're sitting still and definitely better with movement. Because RLS symptoms tend to occur in the evening or at bedtime, a lot of people have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. This can affect the quality of life for millions of people. Although RLS does commonly affect the legs, symptoms can affect any part of the body. RLS is often associated with something called periodic limb movement disorder or PLMD. Um, about 70% of people who have RLS experience these limb movements during sleep, so people aren't necessarily aware of them. PLMD is characterized by repetitive movements during sleep. It's typically an upward movement of the toe. Um, like RLS, movements typically occur in the legs, but can also affect other parts of the body. Um, the movements can be, again, very subtle, including a slight upward movement of the big toe, an upward movement at the ankle of the foot, um, bending of the knee or the hip, or a quick contraction of the inner thighs, bringing the knees together. Because these movements can be subtle and occur during sleep, most people are not aware of them. Occasionally, the bed sheets may be very messy or the bed partners report twitching during sleep. Although RLS and PLMD are different disorders with different pathophysiology, they are often grouped together because they frequently co-occur in the similarity of the treatment options.